been a rough week for me. I got robbed. I got robbed. Anybody ever been robbed? Five dollars debit fee for a poor man. That's not right. That's not right. Uh, breaking news. Banks have uh, announced a, uh, a dream fee. A, dr a dream fee. Service fee. If you ever think you're going to get out of debt with your money in their bank, you get charged. Dream fee. I'm hearing applause in my mind. And I'm not even drinking. But it sounded good when I was writing, writing it out. Oh boy. Uh, everybody, er, everybody know about the, uh, some of the um, Republican presidential hopefuls? One that stands out, <laughs> okay. One that stands out in my mind is uh, Herman Cain. He's an African-American Republican uh, candidate for president of the United States. Uh, I know. Uh, yeah, the pizza guy. Right, right. Yeah, he, I guess, you know, he kind of insulted me a little bit. He said, you know, um, he said, black African-Americans, if, uh, if you're not Republican, you're brainwashed. So I am brainwashed. I am not Republican. I don't mean to hate on those people that are, but it's just nothing there for me, uh, for my people. So, boy, I got a crowd of Republicans. Boy, you guys are quiet. Woo, okay. I do have an attraction for Republican women. That's my weakness. I do have an attraction for Republican women. I'm attracted to Republican women. And here's why. Every time I want to get together, lay out a proposal, I want to hook up, they always say no. Party girls are no. Republican women just can't connect. Well, we have a nationwide, a lot of people are angry. They are angry. We got a movement happening around the country. It's called uh, Occupy Wall Street. And uh, it's coming to Portland, Oregon, baby. It's coming to Portland, Oregon this week uh, at the waterfront. And I have this dude that was talking to me on the phone today. He was like, yeah, David. Yeah, we, let's do this. Bring your camera and we're going to. I'm thinking, you know, maybe, you know. And I started thinking, you know, first you all fired up. And then, you know, realist, reality starts sitting in, you know. You know, I'm in Portland, Oregon, you know. I'm a black sheep in this town, you know. I stand out. With racist police, you know, that you know, oh, yeah. that as we're speaking, you know, they're practicing, okay, one, crack, boom, two, crack, boom, you know, they're, they're practicing right now. This thing is supposed to happen Thursday at the waterfront, so uh, I'm, uh, I don't know if I'm going to be there, you know, I, I'm going to have to bring like a, I'd have to have like a, a football front line, you know, I'd be the running back and I'd have to have a bunch of big white, you know, dudes that would be protecting me, you know, with my sign or megaphone or camera or whatever, you know. I'm not going to, you know, just stand out. I'm going to stand out. What, what I think is going to happen? They're going to come here. Get that guy right there with the black hat. Yeah, the black hat. There's, uh, let's talk about anger and everything like that. There's uh, 120,000 proposed positions that are supposed to be closing uh, the post office. <laughs> True, true. You know, they're, they're proposing 120,000 possible uh, positions. But breaking news, I need to let you know the uh, post office is organizing a militia and uh, they're getting ready to go postal. So be nice to your postal workers. It might be a little edgy you know, and they might bust a cap in you if you're saying or doing the wrong thing. I'm poor. I'm poor. I admit it, I I'm poor. I have. Uh, um, I used to be on food stamps, but then I got a job, and they said I don't get qualified um, for food stamps anymore. So, uh, so I, to make ends meet, I go to the blood bank. You know, I sell blood for money. Anybody ever do the plasma thing? You don't have to say. I know people are kind of quiet. They go, "Oh boy, my dude will not want to do this." You, know, you go there when you need money. You get paid. You get, you know, you get paid. But, so. Uh, but I don't know, I was thinking, you know, if I go 
and I get uh, and I and I'm they say donating blood, but I'm selling blood. Does that make me in some parallel universe? Does that make me a vampire? I'm selling my blood for food. Call me Blackula. <laughs> well, um, you ever look at uh, this weekend? I'll close on this. I was looking at some pictures. You ever look at old pictures of yourself? And you say, whoa, who's this, who's this skinny person that looks like me? You know, it's like 10 years ago. You know, that's a lot smaller, trimmer, and everything like that. And, uh, I, I got a closet full of. Uh, Clothes. The, my closet looks like a graveyard because I have pants that I just busted out. You know, you guys ever have that happen? You know, this, you know, you feel a like cold breeze between your thighs and your. You know, just me, huh? Okay, you look at me like, hey, you fat, David. Yeah. Okay. But so, um, and also some of the clothes that are too small, that are um, my closet looks like an orphanage as well. You know, clothes that are waiting to be adopted because they just don't fit anymore. And they're waiting for me to lose weight. But but what do we do in America, exactly? In America, what do we do? You know, when you rip your pants in America, what do we do in America? Huh? Go on a diet? No, not in America. You know what we do in America when you rip your pants? You get a bigger pair of pants. Boom, that's it. I love you guys. Thank you for listening. I'm David Riddle. Happy birthday, Scott.